Hello guys, so today I have a box which isn't very unusual on this channel because I'm opening a lot of art supply boxes but this is a different kind of box, this contains digital art supplies if you could call it that. Anyway, this is a Parablu Mast 10 with a 10 inch monitor. I've never ever tried a graphics monitor tablet before. I'm still using my good old non-monitor tablet that I'm very fond of, where you draw on the tablet and look on the computer screen. So that is what I'm used to, so it will be very interesting to draw directly on the drawing on the tablet. It will be like drawing in real. So Parablu reached out to me and asked me if I want to try this and I thought it could be fun to show you guys because I think this could be like a good affordable alternative to its more expensive counterparts like the Wacom tablets. So if you want to get one of these yourself you can use the link in the description box below and get 10% off on your order and at the same time you'll also be supporting me and this channel which is pretty awesome. But disclaimer, I will still say my own and honest opinion as usual and I will just show you how it works and share my opinion and experience so you can decide for yourself if you like it or not. So after doing a little bit of unboxing, here we have the actual tablet which is pretty sturdy. It has a few customizable shortcut buttons and you can actually turn this the other way too if you're left-handed. On the sides there is a power button and outlets for HDMI and USB. A very fancy bag to put the tablet in to protect it and it will also look fabulous when you're carrying this thing around. I think it's great that they've included a glove so your hand won't stick to the tablet when drawing but I would probably never use it since it is a little too big for me. Here's the stylus which I think looks pretty nice actually, it is a little lighter than my other one. It is a little plasticky perhaps, I kind of miss a rubber grip but other than that I think it feels quite comfortable to hold and it is battery free so you don't have to charge it or anything which is great. A little tiny sleeping bag for the stylus and a container with some spare pen nibs and a very handy user manual. And these are things to wrap around the cables I think, which I like, I hate messy cables. And finally the cables to connect the tablet to the computer, which are quite important if you want to draw anything with this tablet. Also, if you are into ASMR, I will put up an ASMR unboxing of this tablet on my bonus channel, so check that out. I will leave a link to it here somewhere. So I plugged it in with all the cords, downloaded install drivers from Parablo's website and configured the pen and the pen pressure and customized all the shortcut buttons and then it was ready to use pretty much. It also says I should uninstall all the previous tablets but I actually skipped that part because I don't want to mess around too much with my old tablet and all its settings but I don't think it made any different really, I don't hope so anyway. So there is a bit of a learning curve to this, as with all new things, I had to configure the pen a few times to make it feel right, and in the beginning it felt like my hand was in the way, like it covered parts of the drawing more than usual, which is weird since I always draw with my hand, obviously, and it's usually never in the way, but I got used to that pretty quickly I think, because I didn't think of that at all later, and I think it always takes a little time to get used to new things things like new phones or such. Whenever I get a new phone I let it sit in its box for a week or two before I open it. So I'm drawing this little free-headed kitten as you may have noticed. Thank you Spirit Animal for suggesting that. I take every chance I can get to draw cats, you know, with too many eyes and too many heads. It was pretty cool to draw directly on the drawing digitally, comparing to my regular tablet with no monitor. I feel like on this one you are more connected with what you're drawing, like I can actually apply some of my traditional art techniques or drawing techniques which I am way more comfortable with, so that is a very interesting experience. So which do you guys prefer, traditional pen and paper or digital art and why? Let me know in the comments down below 
it's always fun hearing your thoughts and ideas. I do actually make a lot of digital work too. In my real job, I make simple little illustrations for children's crosswords, among other things. And I also do a lot of sketching in Photoshop for my traditional work. But I never think of making like real art digitally, which is a shame since I think it is a lot of fun actually. But I think I somewhere made a choice to put all my cards on the traditional pen and paper art. And I kind of overlooked the digital part since I wasn't as good at it, mainly because I haven't practiced as much. And I don't know, I just like the feeling and the smell of real art supplies. But if you'd like to see more digital work here on this channel, just let me know, it might be a good chance for me to practice some more. So as I said before, there is a bit of a learning curve to this, but after sitting one evening just watching YouTube and doodling mindlessly with his tablet, and after getting all the settings the way I wanted, it felt more and more natural and smooth to work with. I like the texture of the surface of the monitor, it is like matte, so I'm guessing it is for preventing reflections, which is good. And it also feels nice to draw on, like there is a little bit of texture gripping the pen, just slightly, like paper, which I like. You can also customize the shortcut buttons for different programs, like Illustrator or Photoshop, which is what I'm using. I use the keyboard shortcuts though, because that is what I'm used to. I was a little worried that the stylus would feel uncomfortable after a while, but I didn't think of it at all, so that is a good sign, I guess. One little downside is that there is no holder to put the stylus in when you're not using it, besides that little pouch I showed you in the beginning. So every time I put the pen down and walked away from the tablet to grab a glass of water or something, and when I come back again, I have to search around for it because it rolls away really easy, and and my desk is a mess. I lose pens and pencils and erasers all the time. I will have to try to remember to put it in one of my pen jars so I won't lose it. And another thing that is actually my biggest problem and disappointment with this product, and it made me very surprised, there is no stand for the tablet. I think usually there are at least two little legs that you can fold out under it so you can angle the tablet towards you. Now it lays completely flat on the table. I first had to lean over it to see what I was drawing, so my neck started to hurt quite quickly. So that is quite a flaw in my opinion even if it is a budget tablet. Luckily, you don't have to be super handy to put something under it to make it come up a little if that's what you want, so you can solve it yourself quite easily, but still. Also, this tablet is quite small, which isn't a bad thing, but it was a little unusual to me at first since I'm used to working on my huge computer monitor, but I got used to that pretty quickly too, so if you haven't used the tablet before, you wouldn't probably even notice it. I also believe it could be a really practical size when traveling and such. It doesn't take up too much space at all, so I can imagine it being quite easy to bring with you and use with your laptop and such. Honestly, I wasn't too fond of this tablet in the beginning, I felt clumsy and I had trouble getting used to the cursor being under the pen and such, but it did actually really grew on me and I have only used it for a few days now and I think it made me want to do more digital work since I felt more connected to the artwork and it overall felt more spontaneous to draw with, so I could definitely see myself use this tablet for future work and to practice my digital art skills. And just mentioning the drawing again real quick, I would love to talk you through all the steps, but honestly I have no idea what I'm doing, or I can't really put words on it. It is a lot of layers and grouping layers and gradients and brushes and all that, but I really love this spacey feeling and this alien cat, and I'm especially happy with the planets in the background and the textures, it makes the drawing look less flat. What I really like about drawing digitally is that you can change everything if you don't like it. Made a mistake, just press Ctrl C or Command C since I have a Mac. That is a funny thing that actually happened to me the other day. After sitting and doodling with this tablet, I decided to make a quick little sketch with regular pen and paper. 
and then I made a little mistake, I drew a line wrong or something, and I automatically reached for the keyboard in front of me and pressed Command C. So I felt a little silly and laughed at myself, but it would be so nice to just be able to press Control C when drawing with markers and such and making mistakes. Oh, that would be so awesome. So yeah, I am glad I survived this little monitor tablet adventure. I was a little skeptical at first after having to calibrate the pen a lot and just being the caveman as I am with new technical stuff, but I ended up enjoying it a lot more than expected and I do think this could be a good alternative to its more expensive counterparts. It has both its pros and cons as I mentioned in this video, but it was overall a positive experience. I hope this little review could be to any help for you and that you like the artwork even if it is a little different from what I normally do. If you are interested in the Parablo Moss 10 yourself, check out the link and the coupon codes in the info box below. Thanks Parablo for sending me this to play with and thank you guys for watching. Keep drawing my happy cats, bye!